So, hi, I'm Nathan. Hope everyone's enjoying the Rump session this evening. Um, I'd like to talk about a recent work called Secure MPC, Laziness Leads to God, and this is joint work with other folks at UCLA. Um, and despite the title, I have uh, no intention of making any sort of philosophical statement. Uh, the point of this uh, talk is to basically introduce a new model of MPC called Lazy MPC and motivate it. Um, so in secure multi-party computation, you've probably seen this many times before. There are a bunch of parties. They have inputs. They want to compute some function on their inputs. And so they execute some protocol. And at the end of the protocol, each party should only learn the function evaluation on the inputs and not any of the other parties' private inputs. Um, and in traditional MPC, what happens if a party aborts? Well, in this case, the party is treated as a corrupted party. Um, and we consider this problematic for several reasons. Um, in particular, this is unrealistic um, in many settings. So, so in particular, if we treat an aborting party as a corrupted party, we're treating them as this um, like adversarial party that's colluding with other parties, et cetera, when um, what actually happened, maybe the power line got taken out, and they simply lost connectivity, and that's why they're not responding. Um, and so in situations like this, um, I guess as our president would eloquently put it, there is quote, no collusion. Um, so the purpose of this work was to try to mod, uh, motivate, or sorry, was to um, introduce this lazy MPC model. So um, there are various reasons why honest parties may abort. So the previous slide, I um, detailed connectivity as a potential issue. Other reasons, maybe um, a certain message requires uh, a lot of computational resources to compute, and a certain party is unable to compute it if they have a weak computational device. Or maybe they simply stop caring about the output of the protocol and decide to stop responding. And in these instances, it would be nice if the parties that do care about the protocol and remain are able to compute something um, meaningful. And so how do we model lazy MPC? Essentially, in traditional MPC, there are honest parties and corrupted parties. And in lazy MPC, there's a third type of party, which we're calling a lazy party, which is basically a party that behaves honestly but may decide to abort at some point in the protocol. Um, and we, in this work, we focus on the standard broadcast model. And we have any party that aborts, um, we assume it never returns. And um, another interesting line of work would be consider a model where aborting parties may return in the future. Um, so basically, there are two phases to a protocol, an input commitment phase. Essentially, in this phase, it's independent of the function. Parties commit to the inputs. And then the parties execute a computation phase. And if enough parties, essentially the guarantee we want is if enough parties remain at the end of the protocol, all parties should be able to recover the output, which is defined as a function evaluated on the inputs that we're committed to. And uh, we obtain some results. In particular, we um, get some three round semi malicious secure lazy MPC in the plane model, and we can um, obtain malicious secure in the CRS model. And then um, if we view our lazy MPC protocols in the standard um, traditional MPC model, we're able to obtain round optimal, maliciously secure MPC in the plain model with guaranteed output delivery. Um, so if anyone has any more questions about the model or would like to discuss alternatives to the model, feel free to talk to me afterwards. Thanks.